Okay, so here is a quick shot of my homemade coupler for my NQD jet boat. I'm going to take the jet drive out and give you a better look at it. Okay, so here is the new coupler that I made to replace the original that was out of alignment pretty badly creating a lot of vibration and a lot of noise this one is a flex flexible drive coupler made out of poppet rivets a few screws and a little bit of wire I'll pull it out of the jet drive unit and give you another look at it and a little explanation on how I built it okay so this is all taken apart now you can see the coupler has a little bit of a flex to it to allow for any misalignments and to reduce vibration I cut a little piece of fuel tubing and put it in between the two pieces to absorb some of the vibration all I have to do is remove this little piece of wire you see here which is the only thing that basically holds the two halves together I will demonstrate okay so just to give you an idea of how much movement is actually in this little flexi unit you can see how much shaft gives quite a bit a lot more than you actually need but it seems to work out just fine so I have straightened out the pin and we just pull this pin two halves will separate now as you can see I have the outer one is a poppet rivet of roughly about 3 sixteenths thick and the uh, length is about 7 sixteenths long the pin is about uh, 3 millimeters or about 1 eighth thick so the inner pin or rivet I should say is a 1 8 by about 5 8 long and the pin that is removed from it is about the same diameter as the motor PTO shaft which is about 2 millimeters so you may have to if I remember correctly I had to tweak the inside of the one half to adapt it to the the impeller shaft which was I believe 2.3 millimeter diameter so there's a little piece of fuel tubing that I cut just to help keep vibrations low and uh, modified grub screws I won't be able to take the two pieces apart because I used Loctite when I put them together but we just removed the the locking screw here so this one and you can see it's two different sized rivets that fit into each other now the large rivet I had to grind the head down so that it would fit a little better inside the jet drive unit in here and all I did for that was I locked it into a drill and basically just took a file and held the file to it and ground it down to a smaller diameter you can go any size you want doesn't really matter but you can see there's quite a difference in the diameter size from what I ground it down to it's quite a bit smaller 
there was a lot of trial and error uh, for the locking screw itself I had a quite a few small screws in my collection so I found a couple and I used one to make a thread cutting screw simply took the Dremel and I sliced into the end of the screw and beveled it to the right side to make a sharp edge to cut the threads in these small 1 8 holes that I drilled into the uh, coupler. After the two pieces were put together I drilled a hole completely through on both ends and that's where the locking pin goes and connects them together. It's a little tedious but this unit seems to have functioned so far very well. I haven't had any failures yet. So on the other end we left the 1 8 rivet long and it goes into the other end where I had to trim it down to roughly about uh, 4 16 long just just basically in between the two holes for the uh, locking screw and the locking pin. Um, once you get that down you'll have to use whatever screws you can find. I found some small ones and I had to physically grind them down. I used a jeweler's file to remove very little material to get just the right height where it would pass inside the jet unit and lock down the pin. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope this information really helps you out and uh, thank you for watching.